Yo, if you're a gym bro and you're watching this, you think you're a gym bro and you don't listen to hard style, are you really a gym bro? Alright guys, so for real, it's back day. I'm gonna hit the gym. It's raining out, so that's super freaking dumb. Um, gotta love Wisconsin's bullshit weather, right? So, going to the gym, back day. It's deload week, but like, I don't have any compound movements on my back day anyway, so it's kind of just like a normal back day. Um, Birch is there, we're gonna go see him. The guy's already lifted. It's gonna be a good one, guys. As always, it's always a good one. Because we're going to the gym. So how could it not be freaking good? It's always good. Oh, okay. On my way, yeah, I'm gonna, I should start driving because I already started drinking pre, but a little chat. A little business chat going on, all right? I'm gonna start a personal training studio, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it. Like in the next year, I'm gonna open it. And it's probably gonna be me and maybe one other guy. Shout out to Nate, if you're watching this, training there. Um, and there's a problem, right? And if you guys ever run into the, here, here's my warning right now for you guys. If you're in a space, if you work a job right now, um, that's like, you know, it's a part-time job or something like that, and you want to move up in the world or move up in that field, you have to be careful not to sign a non-compete. And if you do sign a non-compete, it could royally fuck you over, okay? Because if you wanted to go, you know, progress from that job and work for somebody else in the same industry, um, or with the same type of products or services or anything like that and the company that you're working for right now thinks that they're important enough for you to sign a non-compete which literally means in, in documentation that you cannot go and work in the same industry for somebody else or make a business of the, the same industry that you're working in right, right now. So in my circumstance, I want to open a personal training studio, right? Because it's an, it's a good next step to the getting closer to opening my gym. And I can't until I figure out how to get around and get released from this non-compete agreement that I signed a while ago, okay? So it's a problem because what the not what the agreement says is for two years after my termination or my expiration of my current job, which is, you know, training a personal trainer where I am right now, I cannot go and do something in the same, in the health and fitness space, okay? I can't do anything in that space. Which is a super big problem because I really need, to, I really wanna do, like in the next year I was gonna open this studio and start training my own clients, making my own money, and probably making a hell of a lot more money than I am right now, and then, uh, you know, charge my own rates and whatnot. Teaching people how to be, I, I would like to train high schoolers and train, you know, younger aged people, uh, you know, what fitness is all about, powerlifting, you know, amateur bodybuilding, get some people started on that journey. I think that would just be the cool, coolest thing. Um, so I really would like to do that, and, I can't do it until I, I figure out how to get, get around this non-compete. So I just wanted to let you guys know so you don't make the same mistake that I did, um, cause it really blows. And uh, yeah, so a little business talk. I'm, I'll have more business stuff to talk about as uh, as I start putting together this business. Like I gotta talk to you guys about uh, filing for an LLC. But we'll talk more, we'll talk more. It's gym time, it's time to fucking work. So without further ado, Let's fucking go! How they hear you love that bitch, you don't know that bitch. 
That's like having set prices on a diamond brick. You get good pussy once and then start cuffing it. I slip it in my bag, I'm just on other shit. You go BBS, look like money me. My stance were really rich, I'm in that color name. She told me she taking a risk, I had to cut her in. The road was a house on the hill with a custom den. Ellie, I take keep on carrots in my pinky ring. Fuck up feel like my gun makes we kill by enemies. Young on one stay fresh, fresh like Listerine. I'm giving her back to the streets, I got plenty of these. She a nasty fish, she care from New Orleans. Then I woke up sick, forgot to pull my lean. We murder things, you want a queen, can't hurt a king. The lemon squeeze, can't get between or intervene. How the hell you love that bitch, you don't know that bitch. It's like having set prices on a diamond brick. You get good pussy once and then start cuffing it. I slip it in my bag, I'm just on other shit. You go BBS, look like money, Mitch. My stands were really rich, I'm in that color name. She told me she taking a risk, I had to cut her in. The road was a house on the hill with a custom den. It's the vanquished athlete. The one and only. Leading the company in highest marketing. Best sales of the month. Burge. Guzzle, guzzle. Pit backing up, I do my show, it's time to go. Now hit a joke, you hit a post. on cut a post. Got both on hoes, they lick me like an envelope. I was at the All Star game in Chicago. Came through the side, though, I was with my side ho. Caught G Herbo and Durkio, yo, yeah, Smirky, yo. Smoke the Scotty and Gelato, this ain't Dosa, though. How the hell you love that bitch, you don't know that bitch. It's like having set prices on a diamond brick. You get good pussy once and then start cuffing it. I slip it in my bag, I'm just on other shit. G Herbo rich as fuck, but I want a hundred in. Crib in the hill, straight up by the field, drilling with a gun in hand. Just in the limb, but I put on gun on my twin and they cullin' in. It's a pandemic, but I'm running out of rubber bands. Cuban link 300 grams. Ain't no me, I understand. 150 still love the fans. 150 in that new coupe on the E-Way, I'm like, fuck the trans. Mary got too much pants. Gave them folk 300 grand. Fronted that much to my mans. Lil' ho, I got rich friends. You say he like rich porter. I can't go like Killer Cam. Wipe that pussy nose, cause I'm with slime now. He was supposed to been there for he Distance, they can't find her. Loving like you discover her. We just missed the bitch. Remind her. Clown her. You love that bitch. You don't know that bitch. That's like having set prices on a diamond brick. You get good pussy once and then start cuffing it. I slip it in my bag. I'm just on other shit. You go BBS. Look like money, Mitch. My stance were really rich. I'm in that color name. She told me she taking a risk. I had to cut her in. The road was a house on the hill with a custom den. Alright guys, that's the end of the video, but before I signed off for today, I just wanted to have a quick quick chat about some, some life shit um, and stuff. It's raining. This is going to be my rainy day talk. Um, I wanted to talk about have it, who your circle is 
and uh, and who you really incorporate in your life and who whose opinions you take to heart and that means something that affect your day to day okay I truly believe and I'm, I'm only 19 okay I don't know everything uh, I have so much to learn uh, I don't know I don't actually know a lot about anything um, but I do know that the people you surround yourself with on the daily are going to make or break your entire life okay it doesn't matter how much you think